All right, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna look at finding the vector projection of B onto A. So the vector projection of B onto A, this is the notation we use. It's the dot product of A and B divided by the magnitude of A squared times vector A. All right, so, so look at this. The vector projection of B onto A, this is vector, whoop, that's not B, that's A. We want to do B onto A, so there's vector A, there's vector B, there's your angle in between them, oh, or there's an angle in between them. So if you take this and you drop it down, all right, then this is your vector projection so so basically what you can do is you can kind of look at it like say there's the sun up here okay and if the sun's shining it's going to cast a shadow down here and it's going to and this is going to be your vector okay and what the vector projection is giving us now think about it okay what kind of answer are we getting back? Are we going to get a single number as an answer or are we going to get a vector as an answer? Well, if you look at this, notice, notice this part here, this dot product of A and B divided by the magnitude of A squared. This is just a number. Okay, this is a number. And then you're going to take this number and multiply it times what? times a vector. So you're going to get a vector back and that's going to give you this vector here. Okay. And, you know, and also you could have, um, you know, if you had something like this, this is uh, A, here's vector B, and this vector projection, see if you came back this way, you dropped it down this would be your vector projection here, okay? And and it's it's basically it's going to give you a uh, it's going to give you it's going to give you the vector here. Now, now th think about this. You see this this number in front, the dot product of a and b divided by the magnitude of a squared. Look look at this for for this one. For this one over here, this, this scalar here that we talked about, it's going to be positive. For this one over here, the scalar in front of vector A will get a negative answer, okay? Because this angle between these are more than 90 degrees, so that, that would give us a negative here. Think about what you learned with the dot product, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and work this one out. So it says find the vector projection of B onto A. There's vector B, there's vector A. Uh, first thing that we might want to do is, uh, well, first let's, uh, let's go ahead and write out the formula so we can see the formula while we're working it. The dot product of A and B over the magnitude of A squared times vector A. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write vector A is equal to negative 2, 3, 1. I'm going to write it with angle brackets. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it. Uh, this is 1, 1, 2. All right, so what do we need? We need the magnitude of A. So let's get the magnitude of A. So the magnitude of A, that's going to be the square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared, which is, that's going to give us the square root of 14. Okay. Now, let's find the dot product of A and B. The dot product of A and B. So remember, it's the negative 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 1 times 2. So that's negative That's negative 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1, and that's going to give us 3 as an answer. 
And so now all we're doing is we're plugging it into this formula. And so we've got the projection of B onto A, the vector projection of B onto A is equal to the dot product, which is three over the magnitude squared times vector A. So times vector A, which is negative two, three, one. And so this is equal to three over 14. I just went ahead and squared that square root, negative two, three, one. And so our solution would be, let's see, that's going to be negative three over seven. When we multiply the three over 14 times negative two, and then we would have what nine over 14 and then three over 14. All right. And this would be your vector projection. So that would be, that would be like this one. Uh, that would be like this one. It would be, that would be this vector here, this right here, this one would be. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope it helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.